what's up? All right, so I am not gonna wait. I, this is this is to, to mainly Gucci trolls, okay? Um, I want to help you because I know you're a nice person. There's no way you're full of shit. I like you, okay? So here we go. You really have to listen to what Trump said. He's such a deceptive. Look, he's very, very, very good at sleight of hand type of comments. And this is what that was, okay? He, he, I went and watched the whole speech up until that, and we cut it because no more of that shit. My God, his speeches are so just wine, 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 wine. I'm so amazing. Self-adulation of just jerking himself off. It's so annoying. But anyway, he goes, goes through this entire explaining how electric cars, okay, are the thing now. And now we have China is making a lot of electric cars and they want to bring them over here to sell them, but they don't want to have the plants to make them possibly in the United States and give the United States some jobs to make the electric cars in the United States. No, China wants to say we're going to get cheap labor in Mexico and put the... Uh, the plants in Mexico instead of the U.S. and fuck the U.S. out of jobs while making money on the cars in the United States. He went through his whole thing, and then he goes, look, it, it's going to be a, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath in this country. And then he stops and he goes, and that would just be the beginning of it. The beginning of the bloodbath. He's saying that the start of bloodshed is going to be economically in things like China doing this and, and then getting uh, money from the electric cars and we're not getting any money from the labor of the making of the electric cars and jobs. He's saying that that will be the start of an economic bloodbath for the country, which is true in a lot of ways because... Um, um, Michigan, Detroit is very important to the United States economy. Producing automobiles is a, is, is a large part of the economy in this country. It is. It brings in a lot of money. Okay. But then he, he says that will be a bloodbath. And then he goes, that will be the beginning. Just the start is that. So to Gucci trolls, I'm telling you, what is he saying is going to be the more bloodbath? What's the worse bloodbath than the economic bloodbath of losing sales of cars in Detroit? You got to think about it. Because I saw it at first and I was like, well, yeah, he's talking about the, the car industry. This has nothing to do with anything but the car industry. But he stops. God does this to expose his ass. He stops and he looks back at the crowd and he goes, and that would be the beginning of it. The automobile industry would be the beginning of it. So what are you talking about? What's the other bloodbath you're talking about, Donald? Now, if you ask me, I think he's referring to the economy. He's saying if Biden gets elected again, he's going to crash the economy. I don't believe that at all. Our economy and the stock market and it, this country is amazingly economic, economically resilient. We keep coming back when we shouldn't. We are trillions of dollars in fucking debt in this country. And it's still, I don't know how, but it is. I think it's mainly due to the American worker because they're pretty good. People are willing to go to nine to five piece of shit jobs and barely survive. It's amazing. What's the other bloodbath, Don? You're saying it's going to start with the automobile industry. If you're talking about the economy, you're right. But he should have said that. If that's what he meant, he should have said it's this all is going to be an economic bloodbath for the country and it's going to crash the economy. But he didn't say that. No, it's not what he said. So what's the other bloodbath? It's still a bad... Look, you. this is just one comment he's made. And a lot of people made a big deal out of it because he said bloodbath, okay? 
Do you realize word to say? Do you do you realize how many other ridiculously crazy things this guy has said? Like the Constitution can be done away with because we didn't have a fair election. No, that's not the way it works. Okay? We're not going to just toss the document away because we had an unfair election. That isn't the way it goes. If we had an unfair election and he did win and it was stolen, we have zero proof of that. That's a fact. There's no proof of that. None. And and if you want to challenge me on that, just don't get into it, okay? It's not worth getting into it with me because I know the answers that you're going to give me already, really. I want to see Rudy Giuliani come out with documents, a uh, stack like this, documenting all of the false voting for Biden. That's what I want. And he'll never do it because it doesn't exist. Biden won. Wait, do I think that would have been, do I think it would be better right now if Trump were president? I don't know. Inflation is not solved. And the Democrats want to claim that things are really great economically in this country. I don't give a shit what your economic papers that are written by Democrat operatives anyway. I don't care what your papers say, that the GDP's getting really good in shit. You can cook numbers any way you want to. That's the facts. Trump proved that. Yeah, so does the Democratic Party and the Democratic operatives that make a false economy on no paper. Either, so. Let's release it to the public and say the economy is such beautiful shit. And you know what they're giving you? They're shit. giving you that's right. And they're starvation. giving you they're giving you a plate full of shit. Eat it. So no. I'm not, I, I am, if you think I've gone the route of being a fucking Democrat, you're real wrong, okay? My political ideology has changed so dramatically because I see the evils of capitalism. And I didn't fully see it when I had money because I was too happy and fucking content with money, okay? I didn't understand it. I see the plight of what every human that's born aside from somebody privileged like I was, has to go through. They're born into it. You are born into this shit. And Worship it's... Worship mammon. Yeah. Capital. Worshiping capital. But capitalism definitely does not work for every, the everyday person at the end of the day. It doesn't. If if 90% of your population is a foot... No. If 99% of your population is a fucking slave class, yep. that economic system has failed. And I believe it has. It does not take care of the poor, and it's extremely pernicious and greedy. But there's Biden's idea about the housing. Yeah, that's really cool that, that Biden is wanting to call housing a human right, and I agree with that. A lot of people... Look, that... America is way more conservative than people want to fucking believe. When I go out here and I talk to real fucking people that are working jobs, you want to know what they say? I go, you know, I think it's a good idea that maybe we we uh, go to like sort of a socialist economy or something like that. Um, we should give people $1,500 minimum income. You know what the response was from someone that works at the place? Yeah, but then the fucking prices for everything's going to go sky high. He's right. He's right. If there's a 1500 minimum income from everybody, it's going to have to be a lot more money for companies to make profit. That's true. It's just true. So this country's way more conservative in their values than anybody wants to fucking admit. But the fact of the matter is, is that both sides are sits, they're serving you fucking shit. They want you to vote for either a guy that's fully demented, which is Trump. He's delusional. 
That's why you count your riches up in heaven, baby. Right. And then you want you they want us to choose between that and a guy that's so old that he's losing his words most of the time or he's slurring. And when he's not, he's on a script, he's reading something and he can't even read it correctly sometimes. These are the two fucking choices that they give us to run something in this goddamn country. Why don't you take them, lick them like that, and shove them right up your fucking asshole? How about that? Because that's about as good as it gets. If you're telling us that that's all we have to offer people to actually... Look, I at this point, I would say Bernie fucking Sanders has earned to be just put there. Yes. He's he's been in the Congress for so long talking about workers' rights, talking about people actually making progress in their life because he sees the plight of the absolute dog shit that a normal human being has to be born into in this country. The what the greatest country in the world, the American dream, right? What is the American dream scrubbing fucking grease from a grill? your whole life and making barely enough money to buy cigarettes? No. I know what my dream was. It was taken from me. Yeah. We could have been fucking rich streamers. If the people that harassed us didn't do the harassing, we would have been in the habitat, which I afforded. I, it was half of the rent of the other place we were in, and I, we would have been multi-millionaires right now. Multi-millionaires right now sitting pretty in the fucking habitat in Colorado because of fucking pieces of shit on the internet that harassed us and swatted us. We're now in the position we're in, which is real bad. So thanks for that. But anyway, the bloodbath comment was very deceptive because the way he the way he was twisting it but it doesn't matter that comment on its own doesn't matter cuz the guy is so unhinged with the things that he's saying and believing at this point anyway doesn't matter I don't know what the fuck is going to happen gonna in this country I'm going to focus on are you okay voting with a man who lied about his wealth ask that question. That's something to ask. You done? Yeah. I'm looking forward to Stardew updating. Stardew update. That man, you go from talking about crazy shit like that to Stardew. But yeah. Stardew update. <laughs> I'm focused on that shit. That's gonna it's better be than focusing on this. Well, yeah. That's for sure. It is. But I want people to know my intentions are not bad. They're very good. Okay? I believe this is the lawless one. Why wouldn't I warn you? I love you. I care for you. Yeah, and you believe it. If you it. see danger coming, wouldn't you warn people? Yeah, and you really believe it. You believe I it. truly believe it. He you, is the lawless one. Yeah, and the it's just, why would... It, okay, here's here's something. Why the hell does he use the Rolling Stones song Sympathy for the Devil for his music? He's a man of wealth and taste. Can you please tell me why that's positive? Why is that... Uh, look, I like the Rolling Stones. Okay, don't get me wrong. It's a good song and everything. No. It's a message. Yes. We... And then you'll say, well, most of the time, doesn't he use I'm proud to be an American? Yeah. And the guy said, stop using that. But why does he use the that Rolling song? The Rolling Stones told him to stop using that song. That's funny. They should love him if he's a devil. But they don't love the devil. Oh. That was just... That's an act. <laughs> That's Pete Steele, man. Shock rock, baby. Shock rock. Same with freaking Kiss. The Rolling Stones Gene were... Gene Simmons is a Catholic boy. Gene Simmons is Jewish. Did he convert to Catholicism He's for his wife? both. 
Yeah, he's a Jew though, but genetically Jewish. Yeah, he's both, dude. He's Roman Catholic? Since when? A long time. I didn't know that. Anyway. That's cool. Yeah, anything is better than politics. I agree. And I hope everything's cool, Gucci. Yeah, we like but, you, you know? It doesn't but matter. But when it comes to this dude, man, I don't pay attention to politics. But when it comes to this dude, believing the way I do, knowing that your blood would be on my hands if I did not warn you. Arthur Morgan situation. I got to say what I got to say. Uh, and if I feel like I need to say something to help people. I'm going to do it. Yeah, but could I also then go on to say, and I support what you say because I think Trump's dangerous, but I want to say that you have the right to vote for her, whom you want. You do have that. You have every right to vote for him as the nominee if you want to. I would really, really recommend you don't. And everybody I would talk to, I would really recommend you don't because I think he's dangerous but people think four more years of Biden is way more dangerous than having Trump in again people believe a lot look I talked you're gonna find out when you're gonna regret that vote maybe oh you are I'm <laughs> I'm telling you I know zero Biden supporters none <laughs> I know everyone running with the devil because they want money because they're stupid I don't know if they want money. They just they think the country runs like shit under Biden. Country ran like shit with fucking Trump. I don't agree with that. I do. Not at all. We became poor under Trump. Oh my god. Anyway. Ridiculous. He no, certainly he certainly It wasn't due to Trump that we went other. broke. It was not due to Trump we went broke. He certainly guys. has been divisionary. Didn't the Bible say in Romans sixteen? Ridiculous. To mark and avoid those who cause con controversy. I so? mean, come on, man. No. Nah. <laughs> you ain't gonna change my mind. And I'm not trying. To, it I'm not trying and to and change your mind. But you didn't say he it was is, bad times during Trump when it was the that time. One, and if you're a believer in Christ and you're gonna vote for him, you're making the biggest mistake. Of your entire eternity. Yeah, I would agree. Don't do it. I would agree. Don't vote for him. Don't do it. Completely. Don't do it. Please, I'm on my knees. No, you're not. In Jesus Christ's <laughs> name. I'm talking metaphorically. Metaphorically, okay. In Jesus Christ's name, please do not pick this dude. Okay? Yeah, amen, Gucci Trolls. I'd never allow politics to come between our uh, friendship. Amen. Exactly. That's nah, right. Nah, man. And, and I I'm agree that with that. girlfriend that telling you, please I don't think, date Don't that you dude. think you made your point that I, it's extremely clear how much you think Trump is literally Lucifer? And I can say whatever I want without you shutting me up all the goddamn time. Well, this Thank was a fucking much. video that I was supposed to be doing. You did your video. Well, I can say whatever I want, so... Well, you can, yes. Yeah, I'm tired of you trying to always shut me up all the goddamn time. Yeah, I was trying to, I was doing my video, Shane. I know. I was Whatever. doing my video. I thought you said I could, you like when I speak. Yeah, but you're being pretty contentious on this one. That's because I have a point to it. Okay. No, that's cool. That's not being contentious. It's more like being Yeah, passionate. you're very contentious right now. Nope. You are, hun. No, will you stop invalidating me? She believes the guy is the devil, guys. And I see why she does believe it. And I've even said, like, the prophecies of the Antichrist. It, it, it's absolutely there. There, I. That's why her passion is actually correct. You know Why? Because you might be putting the guy that Lucifer is embodying at this point right now, and it might have happened when he flipped the Bible upside down, he got the devil in him. Totally. 
Wow. I get it. I think that's it. The devil tempted Jesus to, oh, I'll give you all this if you if you choose me, Jesus. If you just bow down and choose me, I'll give you all these riches. Mm -hmm. Did Trump say, yeah, I'll go buy you? Huh? No, nah, man. I'll go buy you? What? What well, I meant... Did Jesus say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take your position, devil? No. Did he say that? No way. Get behind me. That's, That's right. What, what he said, yeah. He said, get behind me, Satan. Uh-huh. He did not take the little carrot on the stick. No. He didn't. He realized... You think Trump did? Trump did. I mean, I think judging by his life, he took... Yeah, and he's telling everyone that they're going to get riches if they vote for him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're going to drill baby drill and we're going to make the country rich and all that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he is still saying that. Yeah. Yeah. While draining the earth of her blood. So yeah, I agree though. It, like this stuff is not stuff that should divide people in ter in terms of you're not going to like talk anymore and stuff. That's crazy. People can have opinions, you know. I can have my opinion too without someone telling me to shut the fuck up. I didn't say that. I sa I said you're being a little aggressive here. You know, there's a reason. Okay, I ain't given any excuses for the devil. Other people may give excuses for the devil. I ain't gonna give excuses for the devil. You're giving excuses for a rapist. You're giving excuses for someone who's committed fraud so many damn times. You're giving excuses to someone who said they were a billionaire, but actually isn't actually a billionaire because he doesn't have that much assets. You're the one who's given excuses for this fucking are, man. Are you saying Gucci trolls is? I'm talking about everyone who supports his ass. Oh, okay, yeah. When you're saying you, you mean the Trump supporters. Yes. Okay, good. All right, yeah. You're supporting someone who does that. Like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree completely with that. What is wrong with you? Why? Why are you supporting this man? What makes him so important to you that you have to vote for this man? Yeah, how is money so important that you're gonna support a fucking rapist, a liar, a thief? That's it. That's what it comes down to for me. How could you support a guy for president that is a rapist? Definitely a rapist. He is. And there's tw there's some. 28 women collectively. I didn't know this number. It's 26, I think. 26 women have come out and said that he's done stuff. Oh, then you're going to say, oh, it was all set up by someone else. Oh, so you're going to invalidate it. A whole group of women who, no, are, who uh -uh. have gone through stuff. I won't. No way. Uh-uh. What kind of woman are you if you're going to do that? No way. What kind of man are you who, who's going to do that? Yeah, exactly. I agree. Jesus Christ said two or three witnesses, mm -hmm. and you're denying 30. Yeah. Yep. There's no good reason to vote for this Let's guy. Let's not count the countless women he sexually harassed in freaking Miss America pageant. Oh, he inspected them. How many disgusting things and the misogyny he's thrown out one woman after Ugh. another woman. Oh, he's calling them stupid or getting into their sex life or talking about how hot they are, how hard they are, if they're fat, if they're thin, if they're perfect. Talking about his daughter, how much he wants to fuck her all the fucking time. Yowzers. You want to support that? You really have to rake, you got to really think real hard about this stuff. No, I think you need to really get to definitely say this stuff because it's going to convict someone. I'm already there. I know he's a piece of trash. You really got to think about that. This is a president of the United States and you want someone trashy like that as president.
Because you don't like that Joe Biden is old. No. You're going to get old someday. You hope someone better not judge you that way. Oh, uh, you're too old. You know what? They used to do that in Nazi Germany, too. Yep. That's right. What you going to do? Start, start, you know, thinking that Logan's run is a good idea? You're going to put a limit at like 30 or 40 or 50 or something like that? Yes. I the capitalists will. They will. Yeah. That's coming. Hunger Games. Come on now. The Hunger Games, uh, those other movies, man. What are the other movies, man? The Battle Royale, even. Like, we're going to start making entertainment out of killing inmates and stuff. Like, having inmates fight each other in a, a arena. Capitalists will love that shit. I know. And the people will suck it up because they're dumb. Yep. WWE, man. You completely forget that people are dying, though. Yeah, you do. You completely forget that people <laughs> are suffering. You completely forget that you're voting for a rapist, liar, thief. That's number Someone one. Someone who frauded all of you said he was a billionaire, and you're you're just going around and being like, he's a good businessman. How? He's not even a billionaire. Kanye's a better freaking businessman than him. <laughs> yeah. Yee's daughter, definitely. Yeah. North? Northwest, man. <laughs> That's insane. That that child is worth $800 million because of her clothing company. That's incredible. And she's about to make freaking more because she's about to make an album herself. Is she? Yeah. Dude, I'd listen to it. I wish I was a Nepo baby. I wasn't a Nepo baby. I kind of was. Not I was a Nepo. baby who wasn't wanted. Yeah. So I got abused my whole life. And trust me, if I can sniff out an abuser, I can sniff out... Uh, trust me, if I live my whole life being abused, I can sniff out an abuser very fucking well. And Donald Trump is a motherfucking abusive motherfucker from hell. And he hates y'all. And you're too stupid to realize it. Anyway, I got, I, I, I got it out of my system. <laughs> yeah. I want Stardew. I need to feel better. <laughs> and I gotta take pee. If you want to. Okay, honey. Whoa. Breath. <gasps> That's cool, hon. Thank you, love. Yeah, thank you, too. So, I, I, look, everything, everything that's said is true. That's the thing, okay? I want you to really think about, I want you to really think about the consequences to your soul of voting for the guy, this man, that could very well end up being the guy at the end. And I'm, I'm meaning that to the Christians out there. I care about the Christians, okay? I, I care about everybody, but I can really, really care about what you guys, your behavior, because you got rewards to protect in heaven. Um, this man is not of God. Donald John Trump is not of God, and you're being deceived by a lot of different things. Pastors, documentaries, all this stuff. Don't be deceived Jesus is coming very soon, and you don't want to be deceived by the, literally the devil. So don't do it to your spirit, okay? Jesus bless you all. Peace and Maranatha.